Okay, now let's check out the icon that I press the most, which is the add images to the canvas icon. This will allow us to use images from several different sources. If you've created your own images and they were the most recently used images, you will see them show up. You will also have access to the free to use images from Video Scribes Library, as well as images that you can purchase online if you'd like to use them in their scribe. So let's check this out. Let's go into the library here. When you enter into the library, all of the images that you've previously used will show up. So as you can see, I've got some images that I, most of them I created and illustrated myself. Let's click over here to browse the base library because there are tons of different options in the paid for version of VideoScribe. There are arrows, you can go into business, call out, household money, eyes, emojis, there's tons of stuff. So let's just type in person. Now anything that has to do with a person is gonna show up. And there are tons and tons of options for you. So let's choose this man and woman shaking hands right now automatically they have been placed into the center of the screen here. Now this is the first image showing up on the timeline here, as you can see. So the image is selected. If you click on the canvas off of the image, it will deselect it. Let's select it again. When it is selected, it will be highlighted on the timeline here in blue. You can play it. You can preview it from this play button here. So we've got all of our default settings. We have it set at four seconds to draw, and it also shows what time in the scribe it's going to start at and end at. So it's going to start at zero seconds in and end at five seconds. I could shorten the amount it will take to draw this image. I could make it longer, but let's just go back to four, which is our default setting. Let's push play. See how it says zoom at the end here? It zooms the image up at the end. I don't like that. So let's just push play again and uncheck that. See, this time it didn't zoom. So we've previewed that. Let's click back on the image just to get these options up. And let's go into this and see what we can change. So we're going to change the properties of this image also known as the element. So currently it is drawing the image in. If you unclick only draw strokes, it does something kind of fun funky. I don't like it, but let's uh, show you just so you can see what it looks like there. See, that doesn't look as professional, it looks sloppy. I don't like it. I always leave only draw strokes clicked. So with the check mark there, let's preview. You can preview right inside here what it looks like if you were to change it to brush. Serrated is another option that I never use. I don't like the way that looks. You can stitch your image in. So these are a few options for different tools and ways for the image to be draw, drawn in. I like no brush. It's the most professional. It's the best looking in my opinion. So I stick with that. So you can also change the image to a silhouette, which would look like this. All of the colors taken away. You can have it in the grayscale. You can have it as just an outline with a white filling. I prefer full color most of the time because it is the most visually appealing in my opinion. You can also bring the solid level down. You can bring it all the way down to 15%, but let's just see what it looks like at 45. What it's going to do is lower the opacity of the image again. I don't like that for the most part. I like to stick to 100%, but good to know that that's an option that's there. You can also tilt your image by degrees. 
So let's say we're going to have it at 19 degrees here. There you go. Let's go back to zero there. You can also rotate the image directly on the canvas, which I'll show you in a bit. Using this tool is more precise though, so I prefer to use it if I need to rotate an image for any reason. And this icon will flip your image. So I flipped it, I've flipped it upside down, flipped it upside down the other way, and there we go, it's back to the original landscape. As you can see here, this is where our default settings show up in terms of the speed of the animation, the pause after, and the transition after the animation. So we'll add another image now so you can see the pause and the transition come into effect. But let's speed up the draw time of that animation to two seconds. So it's going to take two seconds to draw the image, but a total of three seconds to produce the image because we're adding in the 0.5 second pause and the 0.5 second transition here. We will click the check mark there. And there you have it. We've customized this specific element to be drawn a certain way. And now we have it on our canvas. Let's add some more elements so we can see how these different images work together to start to tell a story.